This year's Lifetime Achievement Award recipient started working at the Lloyd X as a casual part-time help at the age of 12, doing many tasks from running buyer's tickets, helping at the Silver Spur Horse Show, prepping and cleaning up after the fair, picking garbage, and cutting grass. After graduating from high school in 1980, he worked at Foster Sports Center, Midway Distributors, Tartran Trucking, and for Bob Kerr's Border Trucking. In the fall of 81, shortly after the oil industry crashed, he went back to work for the Exhibition Association. The plan was he would work there for a few months, then go back to the oil patch, but he never left until his retirement in 2020. For close to 40 years, Mike Sidoric led the Lloydminster Agriculture Exhibition Association. When he started back with the X in 81, he was part of the Outback Maintenance Crew, which looked after setup, teardown, and rentals. Barn cleanup involved forking manure into the back of Mel Smith's garbage truck. He recalls working with Harvey Payne, Al Ng, Eric Whitfield, and Bill and Mary Forsyth, as well as many directors, volunteers, and Dick Jones, who was the secretary manager at that time. In 1986, Mike was promoted to facilities manager under the mentorship of Dick Jones and the board. He always had exceptional support from the board, customers, and staff. He worked hard learning all the facets of the industry until he was promoted to general manager in the fall of 1989. At that time, he was the youngest general manager of an exhibition and in the fair industry. In 1991, Mike married Kelly Wabizer. They have three children, Tess, Leah, and Carter, and two grandchildren, Bennett and Hazel. The importance of family to Mike extended beyond his immediate family to the culture of the entire exhibition association. Mike worked with the board, committees, volunteers, and team to support the development of many of our beloved community events, including Showcase, Agrovisions, Stockade Roundup, Pride of the Prairies Bull Show, 4-H Expo, The Golden Feather and Fur Show, Christmas Bash, Colonial Days Fair and Parade, and the rare and exotic sale where Mike vividly remembers having to capture an escaped monkey from the rafters. He worked with Larry Kirby and Tom Halstead to develop the Northern Chuckwagon Association, now known as the Canadian Chuckwagon Finals. All of these events for the association and its many annual rentals led to 1,300 event days a year at the Lloyd X's peak in 2013. All this hard work that Mike, his team, and the association accomplished added up to over a $40 million economic impact for Lloydminster and region. Throughout Mike's tenure and to support the growing events and activities, the staff increased from about eight full-time to over 60 full-time and part-time employees, further increasing to over 200 during major events. Development of the grounds and facilities was an important part of Mike's work and the exhibition. He recalls working on the existing grandstand in 1979. Many improvements were made to the grounds over the years. Some buildings were before his time. The old-timers log cabin was built in 1955 and the stockade in 1972. Alberta and Wild Rose were completed in 1980. In 1984, the Dick Jones Sales Pavilion was added. In 1990 and 1991 was the addition of the Saskatchewan building, wash rack and administration areas. In April of 1991, there was a really bad snowstorm and the roof of the Dick Jones Sales Pavilion collapsed. The Alberta building was full of cars and the Dick Jones Sales Pavilion was hosting a heavy horse seminar. Thankfully, all horses were safe and sound. Mike, along with the seven other major fairs, participated in a significant negotiation with the government of Alberta to receive a provincial grant. The Exhibition Association received $6.9 million, where they did many upgrades to existing facilities. They also received funding from the federal government to develop the Prairie Rooms, Link Hallway, Concession, Aspen Room, and additional washrooms. 
This was completed in 2011, but work did not stop there. One of his last big projects, which was completed after he retired, was working with the city of Lloydminster to purchase the old city shop and surrounding area, approximately 56 additional acres. This will go a long way to ensure the association can grow and prosper for years to come. Mike worked with provincial ag associations in both Alberta and Saskatchewan. He sat on the Alberta Association of Agriculture Society's board for 15 to 20 years and was president for two terms. He was awarded the Canada 150 Community Achievement Medal in 2017, was active with the International Association of Fairs and Exhibitions. At a community level, he was part of Citizens on Patrol, Chamber of Commerce Board, LTCA, LEDA committees, Rotarian, 4-H leader, director of the 1997 Summer Games, and other sporting events. The Lloydminster Chamber of Commerce is proud to present the Lifetime Achievement Award to Mike Sidoric.